Alex here with a legal nuts and bolts video on legal interest or the legal rate of interest. This is the fifth video in my series of really quick videos to help people understand what a few things, terms are. Um, the legal rate of interest is something that applies when you haven't contractually agreed to a rate of interest. And this came up in collections a lot. So like if you, um, I don't know, maybe you went to Maybe you got like sick or something, got taken away in an ambulance, ended up in an emergency room, and you got like a doctor's bill or something. Obviously, you didn't sign a contract because you were incapacitated. You were just picked up, taken to the hospital, and given a bill. Um, so in this kind of case, if you don't pay the bill and the doctor sues you, they can collect the whole... I mean, usually the doctor doesn't do it. What happens is they send it to collections. They can collect the whole amount that you didn't pay, which is their principal, and they can also collect interest. And I've seen people go, well, I don't know how they can do that because I didn't agree to interest. There's no loan here. Well, in Nevada and almost in all the other states, there's something called the legal rate of interest. And they can collect that legal rate... Um, you know, even though there's no contract, it's kind of like the default interest that you can collect. It also applies in all kinds of other cases. Usually, um, it, it happens to just the average person. You'll go to small claims and you'll sue somebody because they didn't, they broke your phone or they hit your car or whatever. And you get like a judgment for, I don't know, your phone is a $200 phone. You get a $200 judgment. You can also collect the legal rate of interest on that $200 if you want to. Obviously, you didn't agree to an interest rate with that guy. They just broke your phone for whatever reason, whether it's an accident or on purpose. And now, since you're having to wait so long to get your money back for your phone, you can also get a little bit of interest on top. And the legal rate of interest changes in Nevada because we set it to, um, it, it's like hinged to something that the banking commission sets up. It's, uh, I don't remember what it is, but um, the banking commission in Nevada has this, this percentage that they, they fix to something. And the legal rate of interest, according to the Nevada Revised Statutes, is that percentage plus two, if I remember correctly. So anyway, it goes up and down every year based on wh whatever the, the banking commission in Nevada decides to set that particular percentage at. When I worked in collections, it was 5.25%. Um, now I don't know what it is. It could be more, it could be less, no clue. So anyway, um, feel free to look into what the legal rate of interest is and how it works on your own time. Get those details on your own. Your state probably has it too. And with that, I will end this video.